a mutable body, and I'd like to welcome you into my process of writing a space opera titled Night Between Worlds. This fictional universe began as a means of unifying the work I'm doing as a composition student at the University of Manitoba and my personal passions and the kinds of creative projects I would normally just do for fun. Given the intense workload of full-time school in a pandemic, progress is naturally quite slow. Taking my time means more opportunities to build up my research and consider its scope, explore influences, and add detail and depth to the world. During this introspective time of distancing and isolation, I've been absorbing as much space opera material as possible. Mass amounts of Star Trek, Babylon 5, The Expanse, books by Octavia Butler and Ursula Le Guin. In a 2006 collection titled The Space Opera Renaissance, editors Hartwell and Kramer defined space opera as colorful, dramatic, large-scale science fiction adventure, competently and sometimes beautifully written, usually focused on a sympathetic, heroic central character and plot action, and usually set in the relatively distant future, in space or on other worlds, and is characteristically optimistic in tone. It often deals with war, piracy, military virtues, and very large-scale action, large stakes. While many space operas tend to include a lot of intrigue around other worlds, scientific discovery, exploration, many fall back on tired tropes of military conquest, punitive justice, and white people saving the day. Night Between Worlds is an attempt to look beyond this, not in a dogmatic way that suggests I have some concrete and universal methods of addressing global political issues, but one that's infused with my subjectivity, my lived experiences as a queer and trans person. So what does all this have to do with an album? Well, the story exists in my mind as a series, like those I referenced earlier. The album is like a soundtrack to that series, and I'm writing pieces of this world both sonically and using text, taking writing courses alongside my composition studies at school. Cues in the album material effectively underscore the text, some of which may be included vocally in the album or with short stories embedded in the digital album files. The sounds you're hearing right now are all sketches that I've made of this world. Pieces of debris and stray elements drifting and coalescing into new stars. Here's a recent project I have here in Cubase 11. Up here, we have some stems from some improvising I was doing about a week ago. At the bottom are some more stems that I recorded after I wasn't totally feeling the first session. So this channel is all for the Kilpatrick Audio Redox. This channel is most of my synths and my sampler and whatnot running into my mixer, which then runs into my audio interface. Here are some layers where I cut off parts of the recording and moved them around and just layered them on top of the beginning so I don't have just one long audio file. And over here I have the MIDI that I was sending from my K2000 into my Korg Wave state and I'll just give you a little taste of what it all sounds like. There's still so much I would love to show you. You can see a little more of this universe on my Instagram and soon on YouTube, all at Mutable Body. The rest of the story is yet to be revealed. Thank you so much for joining me here. Thank you to Cluster Festival for having me.